Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and I appreciate your support. In the last video we have installed WordPress on Raspberry Pi and we have our website running locally on Raspberry Pi. Today we are going to set up a static IP address for the Raspberry Pi as a first step to make the website available through internet. We don't want the IP address of your Raspberry Pi keep changing. So we need a constant static IP. If you run localhost on your web browser you will be able to open the WordPress website. You can also access the same using your current IP of Raspberry Pi. So first check the current IP address assigned to your Pi. to set the static IP for your Raspberry Pi, I have tried few methods. One of them was using slash etc slash network slash interfaces and other one was using slash etc slash wpa underscore supplicant slash wpa underscore supplicant dot conf. However I have used another simple one which worked out very well for me. We will be setting up the static IP using slash etc slash dhcpcd.conf file. Before we can set the IP address, we need to decide an IP which can be set as static and the recommendation is to use not the nearest starting one, for example if your IP is starting with 192.168.0.2, don't set 2 or 3. This will cause IP conflict when you have another devices connected to your network. You also need to know your default gateway which will be your domain name server. The parameters which we need to set for Ethernet and Wi-Fi are described as you see on the screen. Follow along and use the IP, default gateway as per your network configurations.
have used the VI editor to make these changes, you can also use Nano editor. Now we have edited the dhcpcd.conf file and saved it with our new IP configuration. Currently still the Raspberry Pi have old IP address. Let's reboot the Raspberry Pi to have the static IP assigned. Raspberry Pi is rebooted and now you can see the new IP which we have configured under static settings is assigned to the Raspberry Pi. So this will not be changed and you can access your WordPress site with one IP, you don't need to check the IP of Raspberry Pi always. We will see in other tutorials how we can now make this static IP accessible from outside network. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel and like the video.